Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. So I have a lot of crap on me, I don't need all that. Problem solved. So we did a little exploration, finished finished up the third teleportal area. Not as big or fantastical as the other areas have been. We're being told to build the Cantlin Shield. So let's go ahead and do that thing. We did it. So the Cantlin Shield, as we saw, takes uh, five Orialcum and three Golemite. The Orialcum is easy enough to come by. The Golemite is kind of a pain in the butt because you gotta go out there and kill that Golem each time. Ideally, I would want to make, like, four of these Cantlin Shields. But I feel like I may end up just making do with one. Because Golemite's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I mean... We know the better we do, the more aggressive they get. At some point, the golem himself is going to say he's done with us. That's not a good sounding phrase. Honest to goodness, what I'm thinking is that that kind of mentality is what got the golem to attack Cantlin in the first place. Your city! Oh. So LaRouche is the one who has been keeping watch atop the tower, so I'm sure he's the one who's seen these guys coming. He knows that army is on its way. He's still behind us, though. He's not even running for cover. Yeah, let's go! Let's do this! Okay, can I get you guys over here into the fire? That's gonna work a lot better for me. Some more skeletons appeared. Yeah, you guys, come on over here, into the fire. So we haven't seen it yet. But for the most part, the regular enemies we're going to be dealing with can't do anything against these fortifications. Some idiots over there dying on spikes. The chimeras are a little bit of trouble. Because they fly over top of the spikes, so they can only get hurt by the fire. So I'm going to stand here in hopes that I can draw them into the fire. Just because dealing with... Like, I could go out there and fight, and we'd have the whole town with us if I did. But... The less fighting we can do, the better off we're gonna be come an actual fight. It's just a little slow going is all. 
That's fine, we'll get it, we'll get it. Yep, right here. Right here, come and get it. Yeah, good boy. More brownies. Oh, you may have noticed that I got rid of the garden. That's part of my slow process to make the garden even better. Okay, these guys are nothing. They're gonna get... They're gonna get wrecked over there. Slowly, but they're gonna do it. Those idiots are over here, too. Come into the fire! Ah, uh, more chimeras again. Where are the chimeras? Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, come and get me. That's the opposite direction I want you to go. I'll just deal with you guys in a minute. Hey, you guys! Can I get you guys to come around over here into the fire? Oh, no, the leader shows up. Okay, so, I mentioned pretty much nobody could do anything. Except this guy! Who can! And usually st star starts out in front of the town. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh... He usually starts out in front of the town, so he walks into the fire. Rolo, we need you on the guy, not on a chim chimera. Okay, everybody get away. Everything's gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine over there for a hot minute. Okay, yeah, there. Now we don't have to worry about that noise. Oh, they did it. Oh, but there's like a friggin' skeleton or something over there. Okay, they're gonna go kill him. I'll collect all this junk that's laying out here in the middle of it. We did it! Yeah! Yeah, so usually that guy at least walks into the friggin' front of the town and not just stands off to the side and beelines for a hole he can actually break. So, you know, that's cool. Oh, um, about this Cantlin shield, by the way. It's pretty big and fancy. You can plop it on down, and you can just hit a button to remove it. You don't even have to hit it with anything. It's a mobile defense. And you know what I'm going to do, since I'm getting tired of this idiot coming over here, is I'm just going to plop it down right here for now. And maybe that'll help some. Oh, they're still coming. Thought that was the whole army? Let's do it! This is an, a frustrating one, because right from the start, the leader shows up. Uh, phase one, leader shows up. Which means it almost doesn't matter what kind of defenses you build. Because 
This guy can punch a hole through him right from the get-go. So we're kind of reliant on... We, pr we pretty much have to fight from the start. Yeah, can I get you to charge, like, back towards town a little? Got your guard up, okay. Okay, thankfully, uh, we don't have to worry about the town much, because this guy is the only guy who can actually break a hole in the town. So any other monsters that spawn that are far enough away... ...that we can't draw their aggression... All right, we did it. That was all of them. Like that's a rough phase. That's that's a rough phase. Oh, we got another seal. There's also some junk out here. I think that was it actually. I need to of course finish I think that's it. Spikes everywhere else. Pretty sure that's all the damage he did. Okay, well, you're distracted. I'm gonna go to bed. Come on back in. We're all safe. Okay, we're not done yet, though. Yeah, when you tell it... I mean, when you tell it to protect the city, but not the people in the city. But even then, like... How do you determine which people are the ones in... The, if, even if you tell it to protect the people in the city, what do you do when the people in the city are the biggest threat to the people in the city? I mean, that's fair. Once more! There's two phases, ten guys. These guys are not the boss guys, so they're fine. They'll get burnt and killed, and it'll be all right. Uh, same with the skeletons. It's cool. Just walk into the fire, and we don't have to deal with you. You know that Cantlin shield over there is actually doing a pretty admirable job. Hey, more skeletons! Into the grinder! I of course, I want to hold off jumping down there for as long as possible. Because if I jump down there, of course, everybody in town is going to run out there and get into the fight. Like, what I would have liked to do even last phase is run down, hit the boss, 
haul him off somewhere, kill him, and then run back inside and not have everybody go outside. That way I could wait, like I could get back inside, and just have all the enemies run into the grinder. Little by little. These are all the easy guys too, like these guys aren't- oh, never, never mind. There's the... Alright, just keep floating right there where you get burnt, and we'll be fine. The Cosmic Chimeras. See, now, if we were the true hero, and actually got stronger by fighting these guys, we would solve our solutions by fighting these guys. We just go out there and beat them the crap up. Hey, big guy. Hey, 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 big guy. Hey, big guy. Can you, like, not? Can you get back over here? There we go. That's better. Just keep chilling there. Oh, dang it. Okay, fine. You're all gonna be that way. Hold up. Let me fix my wall. Kind of standing there being a pain in the butt. Little dead guys over there. So what's neat looking at this is that the fire actually stops when it hits him, which is protecting everybody in all of our townsfolk. We did it! I mean, town's a little worse for wear, but that's fine. We can get that fixed up. Oh, and now it's Rolo that wants to talk to us, and that is a different icon. I feel like the next thing we're doing is actually confronting the goal. So, let's rebuild our defenses. Try not to get burnt in the process. Got burnt in the process. Take that back. Never know when you're going to need it. Get in here and fix our wall. I mean, I can't place that in there. There. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at that noise. We did it. We're rebuilt and we're ready for the next, the final round. Here are all this crap I don't need. Use the seed of life. His health is good. All right, I think we're looking good. So, I'm gonna say, instead of actually fighting the golem right this second, it's Lumen, he's right friggin' there. Instead of that, I'll say there are challenges in each chapter of the game, and we're nearing the conclusion of chapter one. There are challenges in each uh, section of the game. Chapter one has three challenges, which are kind of bonus things, and they don't even tell you what they are until you've actually beaten the chapter, but I'm going to make an attempt to take, to take care of them before then. Now the three challenges are, A, we need to help the one hammer hood fix his graveyard. We did that already. Two, there are three dragons across Cantlet. We need to kill them. 
So that's where we're going. I'm gonna take a nap first. I'm gonna take a nap halfway there. So the first dragon, a lot of this leg work I'm probably going to be cutting out in the future, but the first dragon, you may recall, we saw way early on back here. And we could have... The neat thing about the fights, about like pretty much all the fights, is if you can do the dance... There he is. If you can do the dance, you don't really have to fight anyone. Well, you can fight anyone regardless of um, gear and such. You just have to do the dance. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a little camp right there, but there's not. Is there a bed over here by chance? There is not. Do I have a bed on me by chance? I do. I do. I do. Where is it? Right there. King size bed. Okay. This is going to be super makeshift, super fast. But I don't have a billion options. Okay, so we need a door. I got a door. I know I got a door. Best night's sleep I've had all game. It bothers me that this is a king-size bed, but still only one person fits in it. Okay, so we made it through the night. A horrible, horrible night. Now, we have to slay a dragon. Um, I'm gonna get out the medicinal herbs. because I don't remember how much the healing cream does, but it's not a ton. I'm not dealing with you while I'm dealing with them. Okay, let's get started! Ah! So he only has so many attacks. And it'd be real lot easier if I could actually hit him. There we go. Okay, so, you want to run at his face, I'm finding. Like, kind of skim past the fire, you can get a couple hits in. But he only has two attacks. If you can dodge that fire and then be far enough away for him not to spin into you. You should be good. You can get more attacks in after the fire than you can after a spin. It's a little bit hard to hit him. What are hitboxes, really? Okay, we're getting him down, we're getting him down. He's below half. Um, with the gear and knowing the dance, this isn't that bad. But if we'd come here with pretty much anything but the steel sword, we'd be doing like one damage a swing. And anything but the uh, full plate mail and he'd be doing a stupid amount of damage to us for pretty much anything. You saw, especially because his hitbox is so weird, it's really hard to tell when you're going to be close enough to even just take collision damage from him. Ah! I got a comfy sofa! 
Look at that sofa. Looks so comfy. We did it, though! There's a lot of crap here I don't need. Don't need you, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you. Everything else I'll go ahead and keep on me for the time being. I'm hitting the wrong button. So there are two of these left to go. There is not one behind the green teleportal, but there is one behind the blue, and one behind the red. So we've seen number two before. I ran down here earlier. In a slightly more precarious location. Going to be a harder fight, if only because of the location. And, of course, there are worse enemies wandering around. So, let's see what we can do. Um, the fight is probably just gonna tear a hole in the ground, so... Of course. Of course you're here. Or, you know, it could not. Hey, you know, I'm safe down here. Oh, crap, he moved. He's actually a block too high. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I can work with this. Get you out of the way. I mean, I said I thought I was going to tear a hole in the ground. Like, he does move. It's not especially clear, but he does move. Ooh, get that crit. Okay, I'm actually hurting. Because I've just kind of been in a pit with a dragon. It's weird, I was destroyed everything, all the dirt, but none of the ores. Yeah, we did it! Oh, that's a lot of dirt. That is more dirt than I will ever need, but it bothers me to leave all this, cr all these items laying around. Well, like I said, that was certainly a more difficult fight, if only for the location. And it sure was! I mean, hey, if you want some... If you want some ores, I got some for you. Okay, I think that's all of it. Now I have more dirt than I will ever need. Nope, missed one. Look, it's gonna bother me, okay. Okay, we're done. With number two. Number three. I'm going the wrong way is behind the red teleportal. So one place I haven't really explored or shown you guys what is, is the other side of this mountain range on the far side of the desert. Like, the desert reaches out to this mountain range, and we haven't really looked beyond it. 
there's a lot of forest out here. But if you look at the world map, yeah, like, there's an amount of forest out here. But as far as, like, cool, nifty things go, there's not actually a lot out here. Except a dragon. Featherfall boots, man. Featherfall boots. So you just kind of run out here far enough and you'll eventually find the little clearing with a dragon. Mountains on the far side, and that's pretty much it. Like, those mountains are the edge of the area. There's just kind of a little bit of forest and a dragon. Now, compared to the last fight, this one shouldn't be nearly as bad. It's the same big, wide open area. A couple slimes around here. Maybe getting in the way. Oh, he woke up early. Can you guys, like, just get out of the way, please? Having a hard time finding a good place to smack him. So the nice thing is it looks like I can double jump over his tail. I noticed that one back in the back in the pit. You know, it occurs to me, probably an easy way to fight this guy is to dig a hole, like, right next to him so I can look up and stab him in the face. From inside the hole. If you don't want to do the dance. You do have to deal, then, with the fact that he does move. Yeah, I'm twice, so. It'd be nice if I had some kind of ranged weaponry. Hey! Ooh, and a dragon scale. So that's all three dragons gone. That is our second of three challenges. So let's take a look at what we just got. Got a dragon scale. Defense plus five. I mean, that's cool. Admittedly, come like a real big nasty fight, I don't know if I'm gonna need to double jump. Or even feather fall, really. So I could remove these pretty easily to get that extra little bit of defense. Come up an actual fight. Um, in other news, though, we got a big old sofa. Really? This thing's tall enough that I can't put it there? Can I put it here? Bam. I'll figure out a better place for that later. The other one, the final of the three challenges, is to make the Cantlin Garden. So, for anyone who has played the original Dragon Quest, there was a part of the Cantlin town, building or whatever that you went into, that had a really nice garden right there in the middle of town. Make the Cantlin Garden. That is the purpose of the pit. So, the reason making the Cantlin Garden is so difficult is because it requires water. And water in this game is actually weird to deal with. Weird difficult to deal with. You cannot pick up water, you cannot place water, you cannot make a water block. 
you cannot make water flow, you cannot, say, put water up here and have it water flow over and go down the ledge. Water is very strictly, there's a water line. It's the same line as the ocean, as here, as everywhere. There's a water line. Water only exists at that line and below, and only if it is attached to an existing water source. So we have a little bit of water here, so I can use this. I could also dig out to the ocean if I had to, but I have to just dig a path to town to get water there. Now, of note... You can see we're getting water. Of note is if you don't want to do something as stupid as what I'm doing. I'm kind of glad the camera lets me keep the camera outside. I'm trying to make a one quick passage. I'm failing, but I'm trying. Um, oh, I went too far, actually. Water! Yeah, look at all that water we got! So that's how you get water in your base. And if you don't want to do this, you can go outside of town and build it out there. Just build it wherever it is that you found a water source. It's a little more troublesome because you need to have also a tree, and the tree needs to have been naturally formed because you can't grow trees outside of your base. If you make it outside of your base, you do get credit for making the Cantlin Garden. As far as the challenge is concerned. However, if you make it outside of your base, it's not counted as part of your town. Which means you get no points for it. So... Let me dig out, let me dig... Hold up, I'm gonna say, I'm wondering, can I block this off? I can, and we still have water. So every water block is a water source block. Lesson learned. So give me just a moment, I'm going to terraform this to something a little better. Alright, we did it. So that was a lot of work for what is effectively eight blocks of water. But, thankfully, eight blocks is all you need. So to make the Cantlin Garden, you need a Cantlin Shield right there on the wall. Um, you need eight blocks of water, and that's going to be one of the hardest ones to get. You need a bench. You need a brazier. I don't know where to put it. I'll put it here, I guess. You need ten flowers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. So you need ten flowers. You need... I just happen to have these. Five plants. One, two, three, four, five. And what else do you need? I think just the, you need a plumberry tree. Now this is the fun one. You need a, a tree. You gotta plant that tree. Now we have to wait for that tree to grow. Um, since it's in the base, it will grow. We just have to wait however many days it takes for it to grow.
Takes two days, I believe, actually. So one day, that is not a full-size tree. Do not be fooled. Look at the quality of that spike. That is good craftsmanship. Yeah, it is... It's still only a bead tree. So hopefully it's late enough in the day. I don't know how long you can wait before you can sleep again. Apparently pretty quick, so, you know, that's, that's cool. Now that's a tree! Smack a door on him. And we make the Cantlin Garden. Oh no, we were hidden behind the thing. And that's also our town hitting max rank! So we did it! There we go! The town is max rank, that is everything that we need to build. I can't really think of anything else that I would want to build, really. We got our fancy Cantlin Garden, which unfortunately has to be down almost underground because of the... the water thing. But, I mean, otherwise it all works out. We're cool, we're good, we got everything we need. Um, everything is as upgraded as it's going to be. I think there's really only one other room that I could even conceive of making. And I don't have space for it, and it's kind of unnecessary. Mostly you get it for the points and for a laugh. Um, but we don't really have the... we don't need the points, and we don't have the space. So I guess, maybe in some other town, perhaps. Doing all right there, guy? Until next time, everyone. Our town is as stable as it's going to be. So next time, Next time, we're going to fend off this golem. That's what we're doing, right? Yes. Next time, we're going to fend off this golem. And hopefully that means protecting this town for good. <laughs>